Thea's contribution to art formation has come out with two main, I would say, two main uh, bodies of learning. One that is uh, more procedural, so we have looked to the impacts of arts in policy making from a process-based approach, and one that is more output-based. So what are the exact practices that artists can do in order to um, impact policy making? And what probably the key learning is that uh, looking at process, at some point it's a bit more uh, complex and it takes a bit much more time, but at the same time it's the only way to respect both the areas of policy making and the areas of art making and, and culture. Because these two bodies, these two areas, these two worlds, artists and policy makers, are very complex by themselves and in order to make them work together we need to not reduce them to a tag, to an umbrella term, but to leave them with the complexity that they deserve. So probably the key learning that we take from arts formation, from CHAOS perspective, and specifically looking at the impacts of the arts in policy making, is to not reduce arts or policy making as simple categories and unpack them as practices, unpack them as processes, unpack them as perspectives that we need to analyze. Probably the most inspiring moment or the, the most insightful moment is where we, when we got to share our results and our findings with both artists and policy makers. We've done this in a collective and participatory process, both bringing artists by themselves and policy makers, but also putting them together in a series of workshops. And uh, the most insightful moment probably is when we are trying to do these workshops and we have a really hard time putting them together and creating a safe space for them to work. This reveals deep uh, barriers to collaboration and cooperation, such as uh, a lack of trust, a lack of common language, even a lack of common objectives. And especially moderating these sessions has been a relevant challenge that we have had to tackle. But at the end, in the very specific instances, we have managed to, to create some synergies and to create some at least common understanding. But once again, uh, we have had to overpass deep cultural uh, clashes and deep silos and problems and, and barriers to understand each other. So the, probably the most insightful moment is this moment of realization that yes, maybe there is an intention to work together, by both the policymakers as the artists, as they are both interested in what they can bring each other, but at the same time there is a deep divide and, and, and deep lack of trust. Okay, so this is the one million uh, euro question, and from our research, what we can say is that it's definitely taking care of the four dimensions that we have analyzed in our research. These four dimensions come from an ideal type of collaboration which at the moment only exists in the art formation research and that we hope one day it will also exist in our future societies. And uh, these four dimensions that basically create the conditions in order for this collaboration to succeed are sustainability, inclusivity, capacity building and relevance. And with these four dimensions, we think that policymakers and artists will be able to work together and to create impact and to create spaces of dialogue and spaces of collaboration. Of course, this at the moment, and thanks to our mapping and our desk research, is still far from reality, but we hope that with our research in arts formation, we have uh, at least contributed with our tiny grain of sun to this uh, still unspoiled and research area. So, as I said before, we, throughout the process of bringing in both artists and policymakers, we have encountered, I would say, two types of barriers to collaborate, one of them being uh, structural barriers, both applying to artists and policymakers, and then also intersubjectivity barriers, so taking more into account the lack of trust, the lack of language, the lack of common objectives, and so on. Both these structural and these subjective barriers to this day present high challenges in order to make this cooperation work. And it's both the responsibility of the artist and the policymakers to tackle them. Of course, we also acknowledge that when cooperating, 
in policy making, artists and policy makers don't stand in the same ground and there is a playing field that we need to level and this comes with, again, inclusivity, capacity building, relevance and sustainability. The next step for arts formation is definitely looking forward to these sustainability strategies. How can we make sure that all of the body of work, all of the body of knowledge doesn't end up in this valley of death that so many research projects fall into and we can maintain the synergies, the collaborations, which we have already seen between artists and policymakers that have interacted thanks to this project, have already created initiatives and other cultural projects outside of arts formation. And this is a very interesting, already sustainable outcome of the project. But definitely from our side is keep advocating for a much more uh, central role of the arts in our societies. And this involves as well a role for the arts in policy making and a role for the arts in shaping and influencing how we as a society look at the digital transformation. Thank you.